right, we are back with the making our own portable power station and I require some assistance from you clever people. Right, this is the, well, it's a, I've established now from the comments and other people that it's a 48 volt battery pack. I'm not sure what the low and the high voltage is, but anyway, it's a nominal voltage of 48 volts. And I've taken the bits off and this appears to be two halves of 48 cells stuck together. There's 98, no, 96 cells in total. Right, I'm going to give you some voltage readings and then I'll flip over and let you see the cell arrangement, hopefully. Because I was looking for BMS and some people suggested dallies and other things like that. And the way I saw them is, if this is 16 cells in series, then we need a 16 series BMS and there's 16 individual wires for the positive sides of each one of the batteries. And they are 16 wires up here. And I thought, well, that'll be the positive for each one of the cells. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the way it says to test it is you go from the battery negative to each one of the cells and it should go, uh, let's just say three, three easy, easy reading. It should go three, six, nine, 12, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all the way up to the total voltage of all the ones that uh, are in series, which in our case, what's uh, um, uh, I can't I can't math. You put them on the spot. Whatever, three point two times sixteen is, it'll be on screen. So if I take this and I put it on the one that is marked battery negative, there are eight white wires and there are eight black wires. Now the white wires, I'm going to start at the low end here. We've got three point two, well three point three volts. 3.278, right, 3 point that, and then it goes 9, which is not double 3, and then it goes 16, which is not that either, and then 22, or nearly 23, then 29, and 36. 42 and 49, which I think is battery voltage. And if I go down the black ones, I get basically nothing. 0 0.02 volts, 0 0.02 volts, 0 0.016, 16. I think I'm basically just reading like electrical noise at this point. Right, they all give me basically nothing. Even if I go from the battery positive, uh, assuming these are both the same. So there's full battery voltage, 52 volts. If I go down these ones, again, we'd get the number, but the other way around. 49, 42, 36. Etc. Etc. Et and that's all the white wires. And if I do the black wires, I still get zero volts on all of the black wires. So I am perplexed as to, well, if I buy a 16 uh, series BMS, what am I going to? Obviously, I don't use, can't use those wires. So I'm going to have to take it apart further. Uh, right. So the voltage is off the top. Right. So that's going from battery positive to battery negative, we get 52.48 volts. B2 here, 45. B4, 39. B6, 32. B8, 26. And then it goes over the other side and becomes B8 with a positive sign. I get 26 still there. Then B10, 19. B12 is 13, and then B14 is six and a half. Right, so none of those numbers really make much sense to me. Hopefully they did to you. And now I will delicately flip it aside because I made the mistake of taking off some of the metal bracketry around the sides and it's actually holding the two halves together. Now, if I slide it onto its side, I have previously untaped this. 
under here is where all the cells are tabbed and soldered onto each other. So you've got one, two, three, four, five banks. And if I go from bank to bank, so that's six and a half volts. So you get, so we'll just call it seven, 13, 19, and then 26, and obviously that's one side of it, and you would double it, and that gets you your uh, 49 odd volts. Uh, but between each of the things, so that's six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, and six and a half. So they are all pretty well balanced, so the BMS was still doing its thing. But what the hell arrangement is this in? I know now, probably, what I'm going to have to do is get my solder iron and my solder sucker and unsolder uh, all of these connections on here and take the BMS so I can split it in two because at the moment it wants to split in half oh, this isn't going to end well it wants to split that way but the board on top is the bit that's preventing it so perhaps by next time I'll have taken this off and gone further and hopefully you'll have left comments down below uh, to aid me in purchasing the, a BMS to go with this or what this mad arrangement is and how we can best proceed in making our uh, own power supply. I await your comments and questions and thank you for watching.